Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at how we can improve our 3D models by adding rounded edges using the new Bevel 1.1. This is an extremely useful detail to add to your 3D models and even better if you're going to create 3D renderings. Let's get started. Before we get started, a friendly reminder to check the Bevel Auto Update and make sure you head over to the official website and download the latest update. So we're going to start with a very simple example. If you're not familiar, this is the new Bevel Toolbar. First, we have the Bevel Tool, which creates the fillets, chamfer, and bevel edges. Next, we have the Live Bevel, which is a non-destructive bevel modifier. Then we have the Auto Soften and Smooth Edge. Next is the new feature, Harden Borders, which unsoftens bevel boundary edges, edge cleanup, and preferences. So to add a bevel, let's select the bevel tool, and I can select this one edge, as you can see, highlighted in green, or I can move to an intersection point and select three edges, or select a face and select four edges. So I'll go back to a single edge and confirm my selection. The second click will set the distance, so now I can enter a value for the offset distance and number of segments. So here I'm going to try 3 inches and 6 segments. So we get our rounded edge and it looks pretty good. The corner offset 3 inches on each direction and it's connected by a Bezier curve. But we have to keep in mind that this is a curve and not a true arc. Now we had an offset distance of 3 inches, but if we look at our entity information, notice how there isn't an actual radius value. And if I isolate this curve, you can see that it's simply a group of edges. Now if we open our preferences, we can take a look at the new feature. I'll change the rounding from Bezier to Arc. And now I can repeat the same bevel with the same 3 inches and 6 segments. And you will notice now that the rounding is done with a true arc. To confirm, we can check the entity and notice how the actual radius value is 3 inches. Now there are a couple of ways we can confirm this is a true arc. Notice when I separate the arc, I can still change the number of segments. And I can also right click and find the center point. So it's something we can't do with the Bezier curve. The next new feature or improvement is the hardened borders. This feature hides or reveals the bevel boundary edges. For example, without any selections, I can activate hardened borders. It revealed 136 edges, which includes the edges we couldn't see before in our rectangle. So now this makes it a little easy to add dimensions and you can take this to layout and it becomes a little bit easier to snap and add dimensions. For the next improvement, we are going to round the entire rectangle. Remember we added bevel with arc rounding. And with this model, I can repeat hardened borders and it will reveal 408 edges, which includes the arcs from our bevel. With this new improvement, we also have a couple of options to display two types of borders. Right now we can see both options. So I can select to see the bevel borders or I can select transition to see the transition edges. So that will be the arcs that connect at every corner. So let's get a little bit more practical and bevel a couple of 3D models. I have this table and it's a very simple geometric shape. For example, the top of this table is a full circle. So a very simple trick we can use is we can copy and paste the circles of each leg to the top of the large circle and then extrude it to remove the shape. These three legs are components which will allow us to bevel all of them at once. So I'm going to make my selections for the leg, activate the bevel tool, and set it to 1 8 of an inch with 6 segments. So let's do the same for the tabletop, select the entire shape, activate bevel, and now we can double click to repeat the last bevel. Notice how we have this weird artifact and it can appear a little bit unrealistic. So in this case, make sure you disable smooth soft edge and smooth bevel borders. Select the entire shape and activate auto soften. And you will see that your model will look much better. 
So let's finish off with another example. This is a bedroom sideboard. All of the pieces are separated into groups and components, which make it easier to apply bevel. So let's start with this group and add a small bevel. For the legs, we can use the live bevel modifier. This modifier allows us to move the faces up and down while using the bounding box. If I wanted, I could add some further details, but for now, we're gonna keep things simple because this is exactly how it's supposed to look. So we can just click out to confirm. For the doors, they are just simple rectangles, so I'll just add a small bevel. And finally, for the handles, we can use the live bevel again. And I'll copy these two edges in and extrude these faces out to create a handle grip. So there you go, very simple and practical process to add round edges to your 3D models and you can use bevel to add these type of details. Especially if you plan to use these for 3D renderings, it is very important to make sure you add some sort of bevel to your models. And now that's really left to do is to add materials. So I went to sketchuptextures.com and selected a few materials and I add them to the model. So that's going to be all for this video, a very simple model building workflow. Hopefully you learned something new from the video. Be sure to follow us on other social media platforms and check our website for any additional information. And let us know in the comments section what you think of the bevel updates. Like the video, share and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.